Welcome back. We are presenting a question on a fractional distillation of liquid air, Form 1 Chemistry. And the question we have reads, Figure 7 shows a flowchart diagram used to separate the components of air. Use it to answer the questions that follow. We have air, which is a mixture of gases. And to start with, we know air contains dust particles. It contains carbon four oxide. It contains water vapor. It contains oxygen gas. It contains nitrogen gas. It also contains noble gases whose major component is argon. To separate the components of air into individual fractions, we use fractional distillation. But before we go to fractional distillation, certain components of the air must be removed. We begin with passing air through the filters to remove the dust particles. Then from there, we pass air through concentrated sodium hydroxide to remove carbon four oxide. And of course, we cool the remaining part of the air to negative 25 degrees Celsius to remove water vapor. And water vapor and carbon four oxide must be removed before we carry out fractional distillation because the two readily solidify and would block the pipes. Once we have dust out, carbon four oxide and water vapor, the remaining air is compressed to 200 atmospheres and at a temperature of negative 200 degrees Celsius before fractional distillation is carried out. During fractional distillation, nitrogen with the lowest boiling point of negative 196 degrees Celsius distills out first as the first fraction, followed by argon at negative 186 degrees Celsius, and lastly oxygen at negative 183 degrees Celsius. We can now move and answer the questions. Part A, give a reason why air is passed through filters. This is to remove, to remove dust particles. We go to Roman 2, why it is passed through sodium hydroxide. This is to remove, to remove carbon four oxide. B, air is cooled to negative 25 degrees Celsius to remove water vapor. Give the state of water vapor at this temperature. The state water vapor is in solid form at negative 25 degrees Celsius. C, name two conditions applied in the compressor. If you look at uh, the flowchart, the two conditions that must be applied at the compressor is a pressure of 200 atmospheres. We have pressure of 200 atmospheres and also a temperature also a temperature of negative 200 degrees Celsius. We go to part D, identify the gases X, Y, and Z. We can go to the flowchart and point out those. If you look at the flowchart, we have gas X, which is nitrogen, Y is argon, and last Z is oxygen. So we have X as nitrogen, why we have argon, which is a noble gas. Then lastly, we have oxygen, which distills out as the last fraction. 
if the temperature at which gas Z distills off, gas Z is oxygen and oxygen distills off at negative 183 degrees Celsius. We go to part F. Apart from separation of components of air, give one application of fractional distillation. So, another application is that can be applied in separation. Separation of fractions of crude oil. separation of fractions of crude oil. We are through with that particular question. Thank you for watching and welcome to our discussions. And in case you're watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, you click the subscribe button so that anytime we publish a video like this, you'll automatically be given a notification.